Now, what is the difference between these two photographs? Well, visually we can see right away that one has a great depth of field or a lot of focus from the foreground all the way through to the background, and the other one has a very shallow depth of field. So one thing is in focus only, just the mailbox, and then all of the background is blurred, and um, therefore we know it has a shallow depth of field. So in your response, you should at the very least mention great versus shallow depth of field, and then when asked how a photographer would create this type of an effect, um, you could mention the aperture that was most likely used. So you could say in the image on the right, um, they probably used um, like a smaller F number, such as F2.8. And then here in the example on the left, we can see that there's a great depth of field, so they probably used an aperture such as F22.